Hi, so um, this is my first attempt at a vlog. My name is Lisa, also known as Mummy Gummy. Um, so I've just started about a month ago doing um, a vlog about my life with my little boy Hayden who is 14 months. Um, and we've got another one on the way. And I expect in about five weeks. Um, so yeah, so I started the vlog mostly just um, to as a therapeutic release. Um, I suppose and it's been really good doing it. Hopefully people have enjoyed reading it. I'm not sure uh, But I'm aware that lots of people um, are branching into vlogging So I thought that I would um, just give it a whirl uh, Quite nervous. I um, really don't like the sound of my own voice um, So playing this back is gonna be quite interesting. I'm 35 um, weeks pregnant um, as of yesterday uh, on maternity leave as of last week um, which is Nice to be finished from work, definitely. Although um, Hayden has not been sleeping very well. So if you've been following me on Instagram, you will <laughs> see lots of tired pictures of me. And um, I think he's teething really. So um, his teeth are just so slow growing um, compared to all his uh, baby friends, similar ages. Um, they've got lo lots more teeth than him. He's just got his bottom two and then the top four are just coming through, but they kind of, just so slow growing it takes like months just to appear definitely sort of wish we could just have one really bad night and then they just there <laughs> so that was last night so yeah we didn't get very much sleep um as as is usual at the moment really but um it was my birthday uh last week i was 31 I had such a lovely day actually i was really spoilt um my husband mike he uh cooked me a lovely um, breakfast. Uh, we had croissants and scrambled eggs and uh, smoked salmon and like a little Bucks Fizz, which was a real treat. I went and got my hair done, which was lovely. First time I'd had it done in over a year. Um, it's probably not looking quite so good now as it did on Friday, <laughs> um, as I haven't had a chance to really do anything with it. Yeah, and I was completely spoiled from um, my friends and family really um which was lovely um some of my friends who um, live down in london who unfortunately i don't get to see very often um got me a um gift voucher for a pregnancy massage which i'm going on next week so i'm very excited about that um they also brought me some lovely flowers and something i'm very something i had on my wish list so if you've been following me on the blog you'd see that i've had on my wish list so one of these mother sweatshirts which i just love um i know lots of friends of mine have got them already um it's probably a bit tight for me at the moment <laughs> um, but i'm looking forward to wearing it when i'm i'm no longer pregnant um and hopefully i'll have a much longer gap this time between babies so um because i only really had sort of five months of not being pregnant and barely got out of my maternity clothes so this time they're all ready they're all ready to go up in the loft um <laughs> because i just want to wear some normal clothes and where you don't have to think about breastfeeding access and um stretchy tr stretchy stomachness although i have to say um you know i probably stayed in my maternity jeans longer than i needed to last time mostly because they're so comfortable and you you know you can have a nice big lunch and you don't have to think about it <laughs> i also got these really nice jeans that were on my list from my from my mummy and my stepdad which was which was really nice so it's nice to have um it's nice to have some um sort of treats to kind of look forward to um after being pregnant um i'm hoping to get back to Slimming World um, once the baby's born as well, although obviously we'll have to see how quickly that happens. So I was going to Slimming World after Hayden was born and I managed to lose my baby weight but also a stone after that, so I was really happy because um, I, you know, not n feeling massively comfortable with my size. So hopefully that'll work out. What else was I going to say? Probably not very much, really. Um, Hayden's just gone down for a nap, which is amazing in his cot. So I'm kind of just taking the opportunity to do this now because whilst it's still light outside and Mike's at work, um, I'm just showing you the half of my room that's presentable because the other half is completely <laughs> filled with um, boxes of baby clothes that I'm still in the process of going through. So I'm still trying to, um, still got lots of things that I need to try and get done whilst on maternity leave. Luckily, um, I've got my mother-in-law coming up this week and my mum coming up next week, um, just to kind of watch Hayden and give me a chance to get some things done, because 
you know what it's like with a small small toddler you're trying to pack things and they're trying to unpack things and obviously you know they, they want your attention um, but it's quite difficult I think um, at the moment the thing that I'm struggling with um, with being pregnant is just my tiredness level so I've definitely got that like nesting feeling like I'm really wanting I really want to like get on and I started decluttering the house but I just don't have the my body's letting me down I don't have the energy to keep to do everything that I want to do so you know come five o'clock um, I'm just completely wiped out um, and my hips and pelvis are really hurting and so even though my evening is the kind of time that I used to be able to get things done because you know Hayden would go to bed and um, now it's just you know I'm just like oh lucky if I just do, like do the dishwasher and um, make make you know the house look reasonably presentable and then uh, that's that's me I'm done you know I'm <laughs> ready for bed by like eight nine o'clock hopefully having a couple of days uh, where someone can watch Hayden um, will be good and I can try and make some headway because I'm with um, the plan is to put the put both boys um, so it's a boy if I hadn't said already um, to put both boys in the nursery um, together when they get to that stage obviously for the first sort of six months um, new one will be um, in with us um, in our room um, but like in terms of their clothes and things like that so just trying to get all that sorted in summary um, hopefully um, this is interesting <laughs> and um, I will try and do another one next week um, just on how my week's going and things um, and how I got on at the spa which I'm really excited about and um, yeah so I will leave you with that <laughs> Hopefully Hayden sleeps for a bit longer and I can go and get a cup of tea. Um, so I will just leave you with a picture of my cat Earl is really enjoying access to our bedroom at the moment <laughs> and probably not looking forward to the arrival of another baby but he shall live. <laughs> Alright, thanks.